YouTube, it's your boy Anubian back at you with another reaction to The Sopranos episode 11. So in the last episode, we seen uh, Giovanna, I think her name is, uh, is Chris's girlfriend. She was pretty much trying to get into the music industry and oh boy, the, the black dude, I can't remember his name. He was pretty much just trying to beat her down. Uh, Chris seen it. He didn't really press him about it. He just kind of told his girl like, yo, um, I don't think your, your band is any good. I think dude just want to get in your pants, but she didn't like that and she kind of left. So I don't know what Chris is going to do about that situation. So, um, yeah, and some other stuff's happening. You know, you still got the FBI and all that stuff looking in on the family. Junior's deal with his mom and uh, him seeing a psychiatrist and all that. And I don't know how Junior's going to handle that. I guess we're going to figure it out soon. So let's hop into this. If you enjoyed the reaction, subscribe to the channel, like the video, helps me out the YouTube algorithm, and I do appreciate it. Check out one of the other videos on the channel. If you like this one, you probably like those as well. Patreon is in the link down in the description below. You will need your own copy to watch along with me. Episode one of this and The Wire are free, so you can check those out, and you get two episodes a week instead of one over there. So, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, let's hop into this. The Sopranos, episode 11. Let's get it. Oh, that pussy? Oh. Go see if Dr. Moffinglow is still here. What's the matter? Dr. Edelstein. <laughs> looks like he's having a heart attack. I don't need no doctor. It's just my back. You about to go. That's the way to go, man. Came into the world go out the same way. You feel me? Damn, everybody in here. That's the detective or a yeah, cop? I think he's a detective. FBI, nobody move. You believe this shit? But they probably ain't got nothing in there to incriminate him. Come on. Let's do what I need. Damn. Hey, hey, pussy out. Get him. Yo, yo. <laughs> What's that run, bro? <laughs> oh my god. Oh, do you know what this is? Move it's a it. fucking gut. <laughs> Damn, pussy, you do some cardio, B. But why the fuck would pussy run? I mean, the guy's out of breath. Look at his dick out the dick of me. <laughs> <laughs> pussy? We haven't really got a lot of pussy action, if you know what I mean, in this series. You haven't really seen him a lot. He usually just like on the sidelines giving some advice or something, but you never really seen him do any like heavy lifting. Bumpin' Saro. Pussy? What about him? He's wired for sound. What? I got it from a good source I thought you should know. He's on the force, he's on the task force, all right? Look, he's not lying to me. He was in my wedding. I want to see the report. I can't get my hand. I want to see the fucking 302. Known wise guy resisted arrest. Who walks away from a thing like that with low ball bail? Who is he? He's a man who loves his family above all else. Well, guess what? That's their favorite target. Damn, that sucks to have somebody close to you like that be a snitch. You all right? Yeah, it's just my back. They got me on these elephant pills. And there isn't even anything wrong with his back. What do you mean? Remember when that guy hit me in the head with that pool cue and I fucked my neck up? Yeah, down to shore. Right. Hey, hon, I went to go. this doctor. This guy works on the jet's front line when they get hurt. I sent pussy to this doctor. The guy gives him the works. MRIs, CAT scans, adult scans, you name it. And he says there's not a fucking thing yeah, wrong so with his back. so he is faking that shit. He's complaining about his back, but I think the doctor thinks it's all in his head. With some people, the pain is caused by more responsibility than they can handle. A heavy load, it leads to feelings of guilt which further burden the mind. That's super interesting, how like a mental stress can cause literal physical ailments, or you feel like, you know, your mind would manifest those feelings into a physical problem that's interesting I've, I've heard this before i'm just saying it's very interesting you got an amazing ability to sum up a man's whole life in a single sentence degenerate gambler with the badge damn huh oh i'm sorry i'm under a little bit of pressure here i don't have time to suck your dick <laughs> apology accepted fuck you <laughs> fuck me yeah fuck you this is where debbie's taken care of me for years i bet she has I'm serious, she has. I mean, there were times when I'd be having a great weekend with the football, you know? And I would come in here with a pocket full of money shit face, and every friggin' fucking penny of it would be there when I got up in the morning. Oh, fucking pussy, I wouldn't fuck one of these broads with your dick. 
They have absolutely no class and they're always on the hustle. Well, that's kind of what they're supposed yeah, to do. Yeah, I was about to say, that's, that's a prostitute's job. So he just goes there for some people he can trust, maybe. Like somebody he feels like he can trust with all these people around him he feels like he can't trust. And he finds that in a brothel, of all things, which is kind of ironic. I want you to cut the drama. It's killing Tony. What are you talking about? I'm talking about this. This poor mother, nobody loves me, victim crap. It is textbook manipulation. What power? I don't have power. I'm a shut-in. You are bigger than life. You are his mother. And I don't think for one second that you don't know what you're doing to him. When Johnny was alive, nobody treated me like this. What are you talking about? Who is treating you bad? Tony would rather die than see you hurt. Funny, though, I don't remember you telling him that when he was alive. Hmm. I feel like she misses the ability to manipulate people, which she kind of does to Tony, but she does to Junior a lot. You know what I mean? And I think that's why she likes him coming around and how she used to do to Tony's father. She misses that power that she used to have, that power over somebody else, you know? You want to relax? I want to take it easy a little. Take it easy. How the fuck can I take it easy? Things are happening, Tony. What kind of things? Things. Push. You got options. Tony trying to give him an out. Don't let anyone ever make you feel like you don't have any options, because you got friends. You understand me? Friends. Uh, Tony really trying to extend that olive branch, like, hey, man. Come on, man. Talk to me. Let me know, because if somebody else find out, it's wraps. He's wearing a wire. Who? Oh, damn. Pussy. I'll oh, get the fuck out of here. Huh, pussy? Are you sure about this, Tony? Damn. Not enough to do what needs to be done. See? Oh, Jesus, Tony, I'm fucking dreaming here. We need to be 110% sure. I like that. I want you to see it. I want you to see that fucking wire strapped on his body. I want you to see it. You hear me? I want you to see it. Otherwise, all bets are off. You understand? I understand. We'll grab a rub down after. Here. I don't know. I can't. And don't be like that. It's a gift. Take your clothes off. What? You want me to turn around? <laughs> the doctor said he's no good for me. I gotta avoid it. That's why I sit in the shade. He's, what the fuck are you talking he's about? He's really good. Heat for is that. good for your back. Yeah. <laughs> Take your clothes off. Heat is always good for Look, muscle Paulie, and pain. I appreciate it, but maybe another time, huh? Why don't you want to take your clothes off? I got high blood pressure, you fucking idiot. I go in there, I can check the fuck out. My doctor mentioned steam and sauna, specifically as no-nos. He said, stay the fuck away from heat. This fucking Macazian, he's a lying motherfucker. He's into pussy for like 30 large, 20 grand just on football. Eh, the rest is shy. That pussy must be burying this prickin' fig alone. Debbie? Doctor, madam, wise guy and a cop. That's what I call a vice superfecta. <laughs> I just don't think sex should be a punishable offense. You know, honey, that's where I agree with you. I don't think sex should be a punishable offense either. But I do think that talking about sex at the <laughs> breakfast table is a punishable offense. Especially your so daughter no more talking sex about talk, it. okay? Keep moving. Oh, go right ahead, detective. Excuse me, move it out, please. Got a police officer here. Move it up. He about to kill himself? Oh, damn, like that? Smooth, bro. My man just pulled out. My man. Use his badge to get through, pulled over, strapped it on, and hopped off. Done. Here goes our only shot. To find out for sure the truth about pussy. Yeah, so it was him who had the debts. So did he kill himself because of the debts? Well, if it mattered, he 
could have kept his job. He might have been suspended, that's mm. all. It wasn't like he was dealing. That's not why he did it. Don't get me wrong, it was the straw, but he was not happy. Did he ever mention anything about my guys to you? He didn't like Pauly. <laughs> he thought he was a psycho. I can see that. What about Pussy? He really didn't have much to say about any of you guys. There was nothing really to worry about. Mm. I'm not gonna lie, because he's dead. He didn't have a good thing to say about anybody, but uh, I did feel like he could trust you, Tommy. So that kind of puts the ball back in uh He said many times pussy. that at least with Tony Soprano, Four. you know where you stand. So the fact that he trusted Tony would mean, like, why would he lie to him, you know? Like, why would you lie to somebody you trust? If he if he thought he was in trouble with the gambling debts, he probably would have just came to him about that instead of trying to get pussy killed. You know what I mean? That snake from Manhattan? Oh, my God. Johnny Sack? Johnny Sack was here? With his mohair suits and his shoe lifts. Suits? Pleurisy? More than once he was here? That's what I'm talking about. Why didn't about. I know about this? Well, maybe it was you they were talking about. Who knows? This is what I'm talking about, man. The manipulation. For what? No, I just don't like being put in the middle of things. You just put yourself in the middle. <laughs> I should have known something was strange when when suddenly Larry Boy's mother's moved in here. If this is true, Livia, you know what I... I mean, I'm the boss, for Christ's sake. If... if if I don't act, blood or no... I suppose I should have just kept my mouth shut. Like I'm mute. And then everybody would have been happy. So now he thinks everybody's conspiring against him. But they did that in order... Because Tony was hiding his shit in his mom's place for the, for the indictments. So they all did that in order to kind of capitalize on that situation. You got a problem. Yeah, I know. I'm working on it. So, uh, what are you gonna do about the Colombian money? They were putting the screws to me like I was a school kid, telling me that the money was marked. They even said that there's a new fingerprint technique that lifts it right off the bills. What do you mean? Well, you out on bailing that conspiracy thing, right? He sound like he yes, so? probing for so questions. Lucky prick like you would get with a gun while he's out on bail for something else and still be out in time for dinner. You're a lucky guy. So Jimmy, is Jimmy snitching? Because he came down there probing for answers. Hey, what are you going to do with that money, you know? Like, you know. It's Jimmy. It's fucking yeah. Jimmy. See? What? He was asking all these weird-ass questions. Wire. It's fucking Jimmy. What are you talking about? The wire. You understand the wire? It's fucking Jimmy. No fingerprint technique. I, I should have killed him right in my fucking basement. Where the fuck have you been? I've been calling you all fucking night long. I was at my gumas. I told Silvio I was coming. Where's pussy? I don't know. Don't you fucking lie to me. Tony. Did you do it? Tony. Shh. Don't fucking lie to me. Did you do it? No. Did you fucking do it? No. Did you fucking do it? I said no! You told him not to do it unless he's seen the wire. If he ain't seen the wire, you trust your man not to do it. Paulie, Paulie ain't like that. It ain't Chris or nothing. Chris probably would have jumped the gun. Let's all have a drink. You and yourself for me to tell you. Yeah. He's decided on that thing. He said we should look at a town for who's going to do it. Tommy, come on, please. No pillow talk, <laughs> man. You already know. I may be getting bumped up a notch or two. Tony Soprano's on his way out, yeah. and I mean as in forever. So it is, Tony. Oh, my God. Why are you telling her that? He's going to jail? Well, the other forever. And you definitely don't spill your guts out to a fucking shrink about business that isn't yours to talk about. Tony Soprano sees a shrink. This dude's you telling fucking believe too that? much information, and to insult bro. insult to injury, he was planning on making a move against Junior. And that's not his true own at all. uncle. Yo, what the fuck, man? Yo, Tony's mom is wild, bro. This whole episode is kind of wild, man. <laughs> like, 
there's a lot of pieces move, being moved in this episode. So yeah, man, that was episode 11. So I, the reason I was confused is um, there was some things happening. I, I, I don't know. I just didn't quite get it at first, but I think I understand what's going on. So Tony thought Pussy was the rat, right? Pussy kind of made himself more suspicious because he sent... Tony sent Paulie after Pussy to go kill him. And he's like, make sure he does, He, you see the wire on his body, right? And I'm getting, most wires are like here, you know. Sometimes they're in the hair, but most of the times they're, you know, on your chest or whatever. Or in your belt. So he's like, man, make sure you see the wire. So Paulie tried, uh, you know, yeah, Paulie tried to take Pussy to the to sauna to kind of relax or whatever. And he wouldn't, he refused to take his clothes off. Right, and he blamed it on high blood pressure. But first, he didn't say that. He said the doctor should stay away because of my back. I'm pretty sure he said because of my back. And Paulie's like, that doesn't make any sense because clearly that would be good for your back. But then he said it's because of blood pressure, right? And he refused to take his clothes off and he left. So that kind of put more suspicion on him. Like, man, this is the dude. But then Jimmy got out, right? Because they both got hit for that, for the uh, for the weapons. So. Jimmy got out and he came downstairs. He was probing about that Colombian job that they did a few episodes ago when they hit that Colombian dude and took all that money. So then he was like, Hey man, where are you going to put the bills? And just asking like probing questions for, for no reason. He just, he literally just got out and then came in, but he blamed it on like, you already have a rat. And they were asking me questions about this stuff, but it just, the way he was saying it, he was just so quiet about it. It wasn't, it wasn't casual enough conversation. And Tony caught on. I kind of caught on. I was like, this is kind of weird. And Tony caught on. And he was like, this is, this is the rat. Like, <laughs> Jimmy's out here fucking up. But maybe it's both of them. Or maybe it's just Jimmy. Or maybe Jimmy was just being weird. But we really don't know, I guess, right? Because they haven't really shown us what's going on. So we could only guess. I, I don't know. Him and Pauly seem like really good friends. Um, not Pauly. Him and Pussy seem like really good friends, Tony and Pussy. So I don't really know if why Pussy would rat on them like that. That doesn't really add up. But then that's because the cop told him that he was a rat, right? So he was like, I, I, got, I got people inside telling me that he's a rat. So then they tried to blame that on gambling debts. Like he's in the Pussy for like $30,000 for football gambling debts. So he would have a reason to get him killed so he would not owe that money. But that money's on a book somewhere, right? So either way, if he did get him killed, somebody would still come collect that money. Like, you owe that money to the family, right? So I, I don't know how that would work out. Maybe I'm wrong about that, but he ended up killing himself for just being unhappy. We could tell he was unhappy throughout the entire series. He's always drinking. He's always looking beat down and ragged and clothes all messed up, hair all disheveled. And he just looks like he's he's in the shit, right? He's just unhappy with everything. But he was feeding Tony information about whatever the goings on of uh, Dr. Melfi and all that stuff. So, But he ended up killing himself. And the way it was cut in the beginning was super odd to me. Because they were in the brothel. Pussy threw out his back. And then it was like four days later. It like cut to four days later. And it was just like editing and cutting scenes real, real fast. You know, like they showed Pussy get arrested. And then they cut. And then he was out and he was at the club. You know, and he was like, I threw my back out again when I was running. And then they kind of cut again. And then they were all, they were somewhere else. And it was just, it, it didn't flow in the beginning like it normally does. Like the scenes. But maybe that was intentional. And that's something I didn't pick up on. The reason why I did that. But. It just seemed odd to me in the beginning. But anyways, it was a good episode. And now Junior is coming after Tony because Junior thinks that Tony is conspiring against him, which I don't think he was. He was just using that retirement home as a place to put his stuff during the indictments. And then he told the other couples about it. And so they started doing the same thing in order just to put their stuff. So now Junior is plotting to kill Tony. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And, and Mikey is, you know, he's all excited about it because then that means he moves up if Tony goes, but Tony is Junior's nephews. And then his mom is the reason all that comes in. Cause she's always feeding Junior information, always the devil in his ear. So I don't know, man, 
shit's getting wild. I'm about to hop into this next episode. So anyway, subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed the reaction. Like the video. It helps me out with YouTube algorithm, and I do appreciate it. Check out one of the other videos that's probably popping up on the screen right now. Because if you enjoyed this one, you probably enjoyed that one as well. Check my Patreon out and the link down in the description below. You will need your own copy in order to watch along with me. You get two episodes a week instead of one. So ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I'm going to see you in the next episode of The Sopranos. All right? Deuces.